systems go. All right, grab it, just hold it, and I'll tell you when to throw it out. Hey guys, this is Michael, and I'm with Mikey. Mikey drove down from Louisville today, as she does every time, so give her some props for being hardcore. Thanks. That reminds me, guys, uh, it is uh, a little bit premature. A um, couple weeks from now, it'll be uh, October, and we'll start on our Halloween stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and invite you guys up to Louisville, uh, October 6th, 7th, and 8th. Um, I'm not 100% sure which day, and it'll be on the screen probably by the time that I uh, edit this on this day. Uh, me and Mikey will be at the uh, Louisville International Film Festival. Long story short, back uh, a little bit ago, whenever we thought the channel might be done, we decided to go for broke, and we, we got all the cameras and got everything together, and we, we told a story that I was holding in my back pocket. I wasn't sure if I wanted to tell it. It's a, it's a story from long ago, and uh, it's called Mr. Fun Man. And uh, in October, we'll tell you all about it, but uh, October 6th, 7th, and 8th, a film that Hook, Line, and Chill made will be playing at the Louisville International Film Festival. So if you uh, want to come uh, and you want more details, just email hooklineandchill at gmail.com, and I'll get back with you. If not, I'll see you there, you know. And if you know who we are, feel free to walk up or just give us the five finger wave and I'll know you know who we are. So uh, anyway, we've got 51 hooks just like the last couple videos and we bait it with big old bluegill and uh, pretty good size uh, goldfish and a few uh, pieces of uh, shad. So wish us some luck. Shad. <laughs> Got two limb lines here right on the rocks. Haven't had a whole lot of luck, but I'm I'm pretty stubborn. That you are. So am I though. Yeah. And while we're on the subject, uh, if you can't make it to the Louisville International Film Festival, we also got into Scarefest, which is in Lexington. That's October 20, 20th through the 23rd. Don't know what day, but it's still surreal. I didn't I didn't think we would get in. I submitted it to a bunch. I'll let you know if we get into any more. And uh, if I can make it, I'll be there, along with whoever might be local. Nope. I will say that Mikey is not directly in the film, although she was uh, supposed to be in the, sh in the uh, scramble. Things had to get moved around and canceled. And, and uh, But we have four people from the channel on the, on the video. And, Everybody was cast and crew, though, everybody. It's a pretty nice day, guys. It's mm. like in the 80s. Kind of late afternoon, about the best time of day, in my opinion, to be out here. Mm -hmm. It'll be cool on the way back. Now, if you watch the last video, you watch the whole thing, uh, I think the entire video is on Patreon, guys, but uh, at the end of that video, me and Ashley came back in a monsoon. Oh. I mean, I mean, the whole video got shot, but then on the way back, it was a flood. She knows how I felt that one day. But we both actually had nope. an extra pair of clothes in, the, in my truck, and uh, we changed and we went to, out to eat, like we always do, didn't miss a beat. Can't. You won't. Huh? You said you can, you won't. That's right. 
All right, we're gonna check this first trout line. Now this trout line, it had some bluegill, some goldfish, and some uh, shad on it. What's shad? It's kind of like skipjack. It's the only thing I can find right now as far as cut bait. It's it's more, uh, well, at least what we got is smaller. Mm -hmm. It's slimier, but oh. I don't think it's as good as skipjack, but some t fish are weird. Fish are if, weird. If they were easy to catch and guess what they could eat, then we'd catch them a lot. Oh, but, yeah. Now, it is the best time of year, guys. We're, we're right in the middle of it, okay? That doesn't say anything. Like I just said, you never know, but we baited up real good. I'm kind of, we had a cool night last night and the night before. Mm -hmm. Water temperatures have went down a little bit. Hopefully we catch some. trying this new S move to try to keep the waves over there. That would be nice. Well, let's yeah, see how well it works. perfect now. It's all good in the hood. All right. And there we go. Pew, pew, pew. All righty. Monkey just came from the vet. I did. Her rabbits are fighting again. <laughs> well, crack her, her hair, hairs. We yeah. found out, or I found out, that a hair and a rabbit aren't exactly the same thing always. Yeah, I found that out too. I was uh, Tuesday's year old because apparently a hair is smaller and wider than a rabbit, which Crackhead Louie is a grown ass rabbit, 10 What's pounds. What's the name of your rabbits? Crackhead Louie. Crackhead and, Louie. And Opal. And Opal. You know why we got her her name Opal, right? I don't, it's, I don't remember that one. Well, that's what I'm about to tell you. So <laughs> I uh, ended up adopting her from Scott County, which is like Georgetown area, because my friend Emily, shout out to her, wanted to adopt a cat, but she's from St. Louis. So she was like, dude, can you go with me? I was like, sure, sure, why not? So her name was Dolly because here's the thing, she had these really pretty eyelashes, right? Like really pretty. So I find out that this rabbit is actually wild. Mm. They don't tell me in Scott County she's wild, but I find out after she burrows my carpet and does other things. And I send a picture of her to my mom. My mom's like, you adopted a wild rabbit. I'm like, nah. And this is the one that got injured. This is the one that got injured. So, so Crackhead Louie is more hard than this wild. <laughs> Crackhead Louie is a straight up gangster. Like Crackhead Louie waited three months after Opal kicked her in the face yeah. to destroy her ear while I was in Minneapolis. Just sitting there thinking about it. I know she's, months. you know, and I, it's funny because I always tell people like Crackhead Louie is antisocial. And now she is truly DSM-5 antisocial. Like she's truly that diagnostic. But Opal, she's recovering well, y'all. She's a... Mikey she, is a psychology major. That was a term that nobody will know what, me, what that means. <laughs> well, you can look it up on Google. Basically, if you watch enough criminal shows, antisocial are those people. And uh, Louise definitely fits that criteria now. Gotcha. But Opal looks like a zombie. So you have two pet rabbits and uh, definitely a cat. And I have that's two a, cats. That's an odd combination if you if you've ever thought about it. I have two cats and they're actually closer to the rabbits than they are, the rabbits are to each other. Yeah, so the rabbits hate each other. No, they actually like each other, but they they uh, compete over food. Uh -huh. Yeah, and Louie's a fat ass, so she doesn't need to eat anymore. Like Louie's just a big old girl. Yeah, I always forget Louie's a girl. Yeah, well, you wouldn't think she's a girl with the way she acts, but yeah, she's a girl. Well, I think the YouTube line curse strikes again, guys. Yeah. No matter what we do. And I unhooked, I uh, just relieved right, it. Yeah. It's been hung for days right there. Well, I got it for you. All right, guys, uh, we're going to check some limb lines. Limb, limb I changed line the rules. We... we changed the rules on the uh, YouTube video. If, you know, if we don't catch no fish, the, the video continues on. Mm. Unless 
language and dress code become an issue because we're trying not to get deleted off YouTube. But today we're going to be good. That's why I'm wearing this. I know, you're so modest. I am. <laughs> you never push the envelope, ever. Never. All right, eight, we got eight more limb lines actually. Those of you watching on YouTube, we haven't caught a fish yet. If you met, if you weren't paying attention earlier, the video goes until we catch a fish or the first 12 hooks. So welcome. You have never seen this part of the video before. <laughs> These two trot lines right here are, are 30 hooks. There's 15 on each. We've caught some big fish on that lower one. We're gonna start on this one right here. Okay. This is one that I wouldn't brag about either, but uh, <laughs> you never know. Never know what's gonna happen. Well, that one's got an extra line tied to it. Okay. I was thinking that the flood was going to come, but it never came. Okay. Oh, hold, on. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what are the most frequently used apps you use on your phone? Most frequent? Let's say excluding social media. Mm, Google, my bank account. Look at your bank. How many times a day do you look at your bank account, you think? Once a day. You burn that thing up, don't you? No, I'm actually a really good saver. I'm Jewish. We're good with money. What else? Uh, let's see. I go on Google a lot because I like to know the answer to things. And then the final one would probably be... Hmm. Honestly, I'm trying to think, because I've used my social media most. I'm really not on my phone too much. There's something there. Uh, that's good. Oh, oh it's a Back piggy. Up. Back up. Piggy. Is it a huge one? It's a big one. Oh, God, look at that thing there, guys. All right, get that big ant. That's a fish of fortune right there. Fish of fortune. Just let him swim around for I a little am. bit and grab that net. I know I'm trying. Uh, all right. Yeah, he's trying to jerk me down. Come on, bro. We're not going to do that today. Woke him up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't give him too much leverage. Uh, I'm not. <sighs> okay. That's a good sign. Put it right under his belly if you can. Just any which way, it don't matter. Of course, I did arm day today. Well, I did leg day today. What's up with me and leg day in these fish? Have you notice that? Come on. He'll get tired. Not quite tired yet. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Get right under him. Yeah. Come on. Oh yeah, come on. Let's come on. This. this is so anxiety provoking. Michael. I got the clip. <laughs> All right. Woo. Good All right, job, guys. Mike. You did All right, it yourself. Guys, we got another big one here. We're gonna we're gonna set the game up. You think it's over 10 pounds? All right, guys. 
We got the scale out and the fish in the tub. <laughs> we just, found some like some rednecks. <laughs> we got the scale dip. out. We All got right. a fish in a tub. Yeah. All right, Gertrude, you're gonna pick him up now. Now, if you haven't been watching or you haven't been paying, hold on. We got just sit. Uh, we got a game called Fish of Fortune, and if we, the point girl, which is the person in the front of our boat on hook, line, and chill, that pulls the fish in. If they think it's over 10 pounds, then they win some money. <laughs> if they can guess within five pounds under the weight of the fish, and if they can guess dead on, they win a lot of money. But if they go over even one pound, then they, they bust. Okay, and here's, here's the money. Typically it's $50 for five pounds under or, and uh, $500 for dead on. But if it's over 30 pounds, all of that doubles. So. If she can get within five pounds under, it's a hundred bucks. But if she can hit dead on, and my, we got it a scale here inside of here, I'll be able to see it. And oh, he's moving around. And she's gonna put it. She's gonna make a guess. <laughs> All right. So make a guess, uh, and then. Uh, I would say I want to say he's around like forty-five. She's gonna say forty-five pounds. All right, stick it on there. Gertrude, you better stay down, girl. I'm yeah. thinking she's a girl. Yeah, just kind of don't flop it on there. But no. Try to try to set it on that scale. I just don't trust her with her damn fins. Okay. Oh. All right, Gertrude. Hey, look at that. I'm fucking strong. Ugh. There we go. Like center it as best you can. All right, I want you to look at this. All right, don't put your hand on it. Okay. All right, come here, guys. Well, actually, I want you guys to see, I don't have the scale, the thing in here. 45 pounds, $1,000 for Mikey. I serious? never would have dreamed that she could have guessed that. But hey, guys, like I said. Are you serious? Those of you on Patreon, uh, yeah, 45 exactly. And by the way, that's another fish over 40 pounds, and you guys know that I guaranteed it. That's two now, and uh, but I get to ch choose the Halloween costume. So I'm gonna choose Mikey's Halloween costume for Halloween. 45 pounds, guys, we're gonna get some pictures. I just won $1,000. She just won $1,000 from Hook, Line, and Chill. Hook, Line, and Chill. And of course, that's from you guys on Patreon. We appreciate that. Mikey, <gasps> uh, good guess. You know what, I thought she was over, I ain't gonna lie. All right, That's why you go with your gut. Go with your gut. That thing's got a big old gut on it. It does. That's Gertrude now.